deal. What's going on, brother? Chilling, man. Chilling. What's happening, man? We are here. You ready for these questions? Indeed, for sure. <laughs> first question. Do you remember the first time you actually got paid to battle? And how much was it? And what did you spend it on? Mm. So you're talking about pay whether you win or lose, right? Not like a competition that you had to win, right? Right. Oof, that's a good one. I don't recall the very first time I was paid. And I don't recall the very first time that my, because you got to understand, like when I, when we started with grind time and that, you do, nobody paid for your travel either. Yeah. So like when I would go out to the, like the Midwest, that was on my own dime. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I know, yeah, my, the, the first couple times, I mean, the amounts were pretty low, you know what I'm saying? $300, $400. And then they gradually, you know, obviously the numbers have increased over the years, but yeah. Yeah. I, I think, like I said, it was a gradual thing where I almost want to say XI in LA um, was the first time my accommodations were paid for. Like I was paid. I was, I was flown out. I, I know I was flown out for satire, but that was later. So I know, I believe, you know what? Hold on. Sunny Bamboo, I think, threw me travel bread, like, my, like to come out Chicago, I believe. So, okay. So, yeah, Chicago was actually the first time. And it was, you know, a couple hundred bucks or something like that. Yeah. Um, honestly, man, you know, what you don't factor in and what a lot of leagues don't factor in as much as like, man, when you're traveling, you know, for those couple days, man, you'd be surprised how quick you could just go through money eating, drinking, you know what I'm saying? So nothing crazy. It wasn't like, uh, you know, Mr. Krabs first dollar kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was <laughs> like probably just spending on, you know what I mean? What is battle rap politics? Do you believe it exists? And if so, can you give me an example of battle rap politics? Mm. So when you say politics, are you okay? So I I don't know, man. I think that uh, you know, I, I know that some leagues behind the scene currently nowadays, obviously, and I think they're pretty uh blunt about it, don't exactly lift other leagues up. So it's no secret that, um, you know, you're not going to see URL pushing King of the Dot links and, you know, vice versa and RBE and whatever. So as far as that goes, but I believe that if you get in into URL or King of the Dot, I think if you're dope, you move up the ranks. You know what I'm saying? I, I really do believe that. And uh, so as far as, I, I mean, I, I don't really see – politics all like that no nah, I, I don't I don't believe it's it's uh, uh I believe that a lot of people that have that kind of um cloud or star power have earned it one way or the other you know what I'm saying whether they're super dope they've marketed themselves brilliantly like so I, I don't necessarily see a, a like a politics just from my standpoint I've always had success wherever I went I never felt like I was being you know, held down. And, I, and even, you know, if there was somebody who was getting more shine than me and I thought I was doper, you know, you got to understand everything and not about who, who's the, who's on paper the best. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not really talked about much, but insurance on in, for battle rappers. If you're a league and you uh, accommodate this MC and this MC says to, get accidentally hit with, you know, flying objects or he gets involved in an incident at your event, should should that be covered on your behalf? So that's a really, really good question. So I would say um, if – I would say if something – I mean, it's definitely your job to make sure as a league owner that your event is safe, that you have security taken care of, um now obviously when you go on these smaller leagues um a lot of times that part kind of goes out the window 
Um, but like an example is, you know, uh, like I was, I always wondered, you know, I never really delved into it. Like would Sirius Jones, for, for example, have a case or whatever, if he chose to pursue against URL, like, you know what I mean? For getting hit, you know what I'm saying? Or whatever. Um, yeah, I, I think if that, you know, it's, it's such a slippery slope, man, because so much of this stuff can be unforeseen or if you provoked it yourself, you know what I mean? Like I was at a, uh, there was a, an event I was at in, in Connecticut that again, you know, ended up in a fight and chairs was flying. So using your, like, I wouldn't say that would be something that league would, would have to cover. You know what I mean? I think the league would have to look into the venue and their security, I guess, but that's a good question. I mean, I, I think it would vary from circumstance to circumstance. What will it take for women to gain a higher earning um, as far as getting close to what you know, you hear about the discrepancy from men and women? Uh, mm. what, what do they need to do to ensure themselves a higher pay uh, per battle now? Mm. So me personally, I don't know. Here, here's one problem. Battle rappers, so many of them lie about what they get paid, right? So many of them. So, I don't know um, what they're getting, their numbers are looking like compared to, to the guys, you know what I'm saying? Like, so, but I just, again, I think as long as their popularity and their stock is, you know what I mean? Like I, I would expect, and I would imagine people like jazz, the rapper get high paydays and uh, official and hustle. These are people that bring in, 40 you know what i mean they bring in views and and people enjoy seeing them and they have a credible resume so to me it it would be criminal if they're not getting paid to the same extent that a male battler is getting paid if they're bringing that kind of you know what i'm saying like I, it's arguable that cardi b is probably the most famous rapper in the world right now you know what i'm saying like i mean one could argue that so why in the bat why that wouldn't translate to battle rap like why the, the, you know what i mean if hustles on your card and you know that that's going to bring views and that's going to bring attention and all these things i don't know why she would not be paid to the equivalent of you know whoever her male counterpart is as far as popularity views and you know what i mean bringing attention mm -hmm. Give me a time where something was very serious going on with you while you were preparing material for a battle that may have mm. th thrown you off when it was time to battle. So I actually, um, I have two instances that stick out and I actually, uh, I, I didn't get thrown off. I was able to get thrown, but I battled the day my mom died and I battled the day my sister died. Um, and yeah, I was in Milwaukee. My mother had cancer. So she was in pretty rough state, like rough shape, you know, so that was on my mind, you know, during the week. But battle rap was also a way for me to just take a take some attention to myself, do some self care instead of just wallowing and being. So the morning of that battle was a, was a one rounder uh, in Milwaukee. I got the call um, that she passed. And I'm like, and I was already transparent with the with the person that was running the league. I was like, look, man, just so you know, you know, my mom is 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 in really rough shape, and and she was um the lady I or the, the I don't want to say the lady the 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 woman I had spoken to about it who I can't even remember her name. She was super understanding. I was like, look, of course. And uh, so the day of, yeah, she it's it's wild. Like in the intro, and this is the same thing for the other one. You can I'm, I'm like, yo, rest in peace, mom. Like she just died, like five hours beforehand um, and I actually like was able to put together a really good performance and the same thing happened a year later and when my sister died suddenly um I was in Missouri for no coast uh I got the call in the morning and I was like Ugh. so like I was sitting there and I'm thinking like, what am I going to do if I don't go through this battle? You know what I'm saying? I, I'm going to be self-destructive. I'm going to drink. I'm going to get angry. I'm going to, you know, so it gave me that time to at least just go take my mind off it for just that period of time. And, and I would never, 
I don't like when someone goes, oh, this person canceled a battle and they use my example, like real deal, he battled the days. I'm like, don't do that. That's not, that was a, for me, yeah, don't, don't put somebody under that kind of stuff. I would completely understand a lot of instances where people are not in a mental place to battle. Yeah, yeah. So those two um, stick out, you know, way, way, but I've never, they, thankfully I wasn't thrown off um by either of those why isn't there more discussion on mental health and anxiety and things of that nature within the culture have you personally ever went through that do we need those cases and just why is it so taboo to even speak about that like within battle rap there was an event um lad bible through in england that i would i had i was fortunate enough to be a part of and it was called uh speak up and it was it was actually about mental health and battle had like a theme so i did like a compliment battle and i was able to, to share a mental health piece at the end so um yeah man that's a that's a, a, a i think mental health in general has started to come to the forefront over these last five years with, you know, check on your strong friend. It's okay to not be okay. Um, those kinds of things. Like, I, I don't know that battle rap is somewhere. I think how to say this, like, of course, battle rappers struggle with, there's battle rappers that struggle with mental health and something, but I guess when your job is traditionally to tear another person down or like roast them or whatever, it's kind of odd to say on the flip side of that coin, like we need to pay more attention to mental health. It's like, yo, didn't you just spend three rounds just <laughs> tearing it up, right? So, which is, which is wrong because at the end of the day, like, you know, your arsenals, Charlie Clips's a war, like these are my friends. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't lose, use that term blue. Like these are friends of mine. Like if I go to their city, I'm like, yo, let, let's grab a, a So whatever we say to each other in a battle, the reality is like, I absolutely care how you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I absolutely like, if you ever want to talk about something about battle rap related, um, I think to not stray too far from your, your question, I think that's what get lost in the whole thing is like battle rappers. We are really like a fraternity. I mean, we are, you know what I'm saying? Like we are close. We are a close community. That's why I don't like when they always, when they showcase videos like intense battle rap moments or battle rap gone wrong. I'm like, man, the percentage of how many incidents happen per battle, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's so low. Like, of course, just nine trillion battles. Of course, there's going to be a fight in one or like, you know what I mean? Or something goofy. So I think for the most part, like that, like the community is really close. You know what I'm saying? Like, so again, those are my, those are my friends, but we're not, we don't talk every day or nothing like that. But I think when you run into like, for example, people like Ward and Loso or like, you know what I mean? Like me, Marv and Chilla and Quest and Ward, we're, we're all close. Like that's, yeah, we don't, we don't make no qualms about that. We're like, you know, we talk about real life stuff and how are you doing? And if you see in battle rap, Anytime that there's some kind of moment of, and again, I, I experienced this with the community came together for me, for my father. I think they're very supportive, man. Like, you know what I mean? Like anytime you see a battle rap through some loss or, um, I was just calling. He ain't got nothing important to say. You still there, bro? I didn't lose you. Oh, my bad. I think anytime you see someone in battle rap that's visibly going through strife, like, I, I you know, none none just had a car accident like there was an outpouring of everybody like man i hope you know what i mean so i think we're all i think we're pretty supportive about it and like i said i i know that lad bible did that mental health awareness um event and that was super successful Dr the drug culture here in battle rap, you know, medication. I know I've heard people talk about, you know, I've been on so much Adderall just to stay focused and stay sane. Um, <clears throat> is it is it becoming more of a thing? Has it always been there? Is it less prevalent now? Like for those who 
wasn't aware of these things that the battle rappers go through just to keep themselves locked in. Like mm -hmm. how much of that does, uh, how much of that goes on? I think it's a lot less of a thing, to be honest. I, like when I first got in grind time and all that, there would be some like, you know, people would pop some pills or do some Coke or whatever. You know what I'm saying? That was kind of their thing in certain circles or whatever. You almost don't see that nearly as much now. You know what I'm saying? At least I don't. Um, the funny thing is, I'm, I'm going to sound like such a square for saying this. I'm always mind blown. I'm going to tell you somebody who just blows my mind is Tay Rock because the dude smokes weed all day and then goes out and delivers three flawless. I don't know how he does it, bro. I do not know how he does it. I, I don't smoke a lot at all. You know, almost never. But when I do, there's no way I'm running through three rounds of material, man. Like I'm, I'm like the flat person on the in, in, in the commercial <laughs> that on the couch. Like my man will just smoke, 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 and then go out there and boom. So like, um, I don't even like the the. I know I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, the the coke thing was probably more prevalent in the UK. Like when I would go over, there was you know there was definitely battle a lot of battlers that would dabble in coke and whatnot. I know you know Adderall. I, I never really, it's not a question I would just go ask somebody, like, oh, would you pop some Maddie for this event? Or, and it's not, you know, if I'm like, oh, I got to get my material together. I've never had somebody offer me an Adderall. Like, you know what I mean? So I don't see that super pro. The only thing is, is Squares is going to say weed. Like, everybody's smoking. You know what I mean? And which, you know, I don't even like to say weed's a drug. But, um, yeah, drinking isn't even really, you know, people... I don't even really see anything with that. Like me, like I know personally, like I don't, I'll have some beers the day of or whatever. I'll wait till drink afterwards. So as far as like maintain, um, focus on material, or whatnot, I think it's a lot less than, than it was, uh, years ago for sure. rivals within like leagues um you know instead of being collaborative everything is so divisive and uh you know everybody is like kind of going at it right now is the rivalry good going forward is it healthy is it beneficial or down the road can you see it being hurtful yeah i uh, man. i i and i get i think first thing that comes to mind right is like the monday night wars like wcw and that was great for I don't see this as the same. I, I, I get it that they're not going to be out from what I'm hearing. I get it that they're not going to just jump out the window and wildly support each other. Like, Hey, go watch their pay-per-view. That would be an awesome thing to see because again, so many of these battlers battle on other platforms, but I've heard about some stories potentially behind the scenes of like sabotaging people's events or like, paying someone to, to hack at a stream or something. And again, I don't, I don't want to go down the rabbit hole because I don't know that ever be good. Like that is like you, you, you affecting people's pockets and livelihood if that's what it's come to like. And, and it's odd too, because I don't think there's any denying just, I was just going to say based on popularity and views and everything right now that the URL is in the number one position. You know what I mean? I don't think that's even so it would be it's odd to me. And again, this is all like speculation or whatever. If you're number one to just continue to turn around and throw jabs at two and three, like, you know what I mean? Just I would just imagine just focus on, you know, and again, I don't really see I haven't I don't see URL do it publicly. But, you know, I, I don't I don't think so. No, but to kind of get back to your question, I don't think it's good. I, do, I wish it was like the money night kind of wars where it's like, you know, you have to, you don't know what you're going to be watching that night, but I, I don't, man. I, I would love to see, it, I'll tell you a cool thing was when King of the Dot had like clips and conceded and brought smack on stage. And that was awesome. And, and that seems so distant. Like that seems like um, such a far, 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 we're so far removed from that. So no, I, I don't, cause in my head, I would like, that would be a, a super dope. Like you would get RBE's five best to go get, but that, that will never happen. Or URL's five against King of the Dots five or whatever. 
Um, I don't foresee that ever happening. And, and the concept is so cool. Like even to think of the matchups you could jot out on paper and the cities you can make it happen in and the judging system and that would never, it seems like no league is going to, I, and again, I don't know. I don't want, so I don't want to speak for any of these, whether it be organic or, or smack or bees or uh, RBE, but yeah, I, I don't feel it's a conducive thing. And also, you know, you, I'm sure you've heard the stories of battles being blocked in the past or like, I don't, I don't see how that can really be a good thing because at the end of the day, if you focus so much on just your brand, your, you know, which I get it. What about the battle rappers brand? You know, like, I don't want real deal to just be a battle rapper. I want that to be a brand. And if I have opportunities to go, for example, especially with my movement or, or, you know, if, if Tay rock can make his brand bigger by going other places, I think that gets lost in a lot of this like rivalry. You know what I mean? Like, what about us? Like we get that you don't want to help their brand out, but, you know, so. Real deal. I want to say thank you for being a part of this. You were so much needed uh, to, to help put this doc together. And uh, I thank you so much for your time. Absolutely, man. Really do. Thank you. Anytime, brother. Anytime you need me, man. Yes, sir.